Hello guys, I hope you're doing well and um, have a little update for you for a couple items that we did with KS0 Ice Miner. So number one, I did mine for four more days on the Caspa pool versus Hub pool. Uh, and I switched Caspa pool uh, to US. I was doing on Yara pool, yeah, U and now it's US pool. And look at the differences, there's not much. So there we still winning on the hump pool, roughly about the same as we did on Yo Yara pool. Um, it's probably an average about the same difference. It's actually even more Caspa we mine, an average 33 a day per miner versus 28 a day on the hump pool. Uh, so it didn't help us to switch in on the US pool at all. I was surprised. I thought maybe we're going to do better and the connection going to be faster, but uh, none of that matter. It just looks like a hump pool perform again for the four days. Uh, July 23rd, right here, we did 65 more Caspa. So my first one. Uh, this is the calculation from Hump Pool and then the Caspa Pool. And then again, Hump Pool, Caspa Pool on July 24. And July 25th, I have uh, Hump Pool 1446, 1320 on the Caspa Pool. And again, July 26th, I have 1348 on the Hump Pool and 1320 on the Caspa Pool. So we did win again on the Hump Pool. I don't know why, but. Um, to be honest, it's more stable. It, it looks stable when you look at the stats of a pool. So let's take a look uh, on the hump pool. So you could see how uh, it, it does a little jumps up and down, but overall it's kind of look uh, closer to 100 hash rate um, per miner. So 200 for two, since we mining with two and our average is pretty close to 197, 198. For 24 this is 48 hours now and our one hour 207 so we are pretty accurate almost for the um on the hump pool for caspa all the time now where we on the caspa pool we had different statistic right now i'm not mining i switch to woolly pooling that's going to be a second part of a video but we'll come back to that but looking the miner itself on our hump pool we are also hovering around 100 giga hash so it doesn't really drop too much or go up too much so on two of these miners three and four if you remember uh, my minor two and uh, minor three and minor four there are on the hump pool uh, so i did switch them recently for two days i've been mining to woolly pulley uh, so that part of the video i want to talk to you about it and see what's going on there um, and why I didn't like it. I'm gonna be switching anywhere from Wooly Pool, either on Caspa, back or a hump pool. I may just gonna go on hump pool. I'd like to stay in the two pool just to compare in case one pool start performing better. But anyways, we'll see. Uh, right now, let's look at our, uh, look at the Wooly Pool, look what's going on here. So my minor one starts goes zero. 234 then 117 zero and then stay zero for almost uh 15 minutes and then go to 58 giga hash go to zero and stays there for another 10 minutes or so and then and so forth and then it goes to 293 giga hash that's insane and then drops to 58 so it would be okay. I mean, I don't mind is going up and down like that, although it's kind of triggers something wrong with the with the pool or um, something not stable. You like to see more of a stable numbers, right? But I wouldn't mind if it would mine same amount of cusp or more. However, let's look at the uh, two days mining and see what we've got. We didn't get uh, same stats here so this is my two days july 27 28 i don't think i'm gonna go to july 29 and 30th and today is july 28 and it's about 5 48 um i'm supposed to finish that 
mining at uh, 20, uh, about 10 o'clock, 22, 10 p.m., but I'm not going to probably even wait four more hours because it just doesn't make any sense to stay on the woolly pulley for me anymore. It performs a lot worse even than the Caspa pool, so why bother, right? Look at the differences. We had on uh, between hump and Caspa pool, we had differences between 65, 41, 126, 28, and average it was um, 33, 65 for two uh, miners, 33 per miner differences, right? So, but look at this one. Uh, the first day was horrible. I don't know what's what happened to Wooly Pooly. Um, and I didn't start actually, I, I started at 21 o'clock, but then I reset it. Just was trying to make sure they mine in before I timed it. So, and I timed it at 22, even though it was one hour before um, the miners were minor on the on the woolly pulley. But uh, first day, look at the performance I have on hump pool 1241, which is less, guys. It was it's not getting 1300, 1400 like we did just three days ago so we are actually now uh our difficulty is going up hash rate on the pulls going up so that's what we're getting so look at that we are in uh 1241 on july 27 which is yesterday so it's about 620 caspa per minor right and then we did only 1,016 on Wooly Pooly, which is insane. It's only 508 Caspa. That's that's ridiculous. And look at today. I am still 149 Caspa behind on Wooly Pooly. So I don't even want to bother. It's just, it's just a ridiculous. It's more than 15, 20% less. So why why do we want to do that, right? So that's that's a quick update on your two uh, four days mining between our uh, hump pool and caspa pool, switching to US pool on the caspa caspa pool, and then also woolly pulley versus hump pool. Uh, and you could see the statistics, you can pause the video, check it out. Uh, sorry, I have to shoot the still the screen, so hopefully, you can zoom in and and see the numbers here. Uh, those numbers are not updated, it's just I had them here, but. That's nothing. I'd, I'm not going to do day three and four on Wooly Pooly. It just doesn't make sense for me anymore. Um, I'm even sorry that I wasted time already there. I'm, I lost like a, I could have mined 370 more Caspa uh, if I wouldn't switch to Wooly Pooly. So anyways, let's look at the price of the Caspa real quick and see where we are on ROI. So and difficulties of course so let's take a look at the difficulties on the caspa pool um so mining pool stats we have 2.78 unknown 20 percent that it's 367 this is insane there's another almost a pentahash somewhere hidden there then we have the pool bay that io and our stats are um we are at 2.84, so it did kind of waited there for a little bit between 2.5 and 2.3 pentahash, and now it's 2.8. So that explains the hash rate goes uh, went so high, and now our difficulty are much higher. And by the way, remember every month, Caspa uh, rewards gonna be dropping too, so they're uh let's take a look at that so two miners we have 278 right now right it was just a 2.8 also it's pretty close um and miner stats are for caspa network hash rate is 277 so in between them and it's between 28 284 and 278 and 277 uh, it's pretty close to 78 so i think that's where we are right now on uh, network hash rate and definitely difficulties went up so high um let's take a look at our caspa price real quick and see where we are on uh, roi so right now as of july 28 at 553 
Casper been trading on Trade Ogre at around 3.6 cents, 3.62. So let's say I want to sell like 525 Casper out of the uh, painting there. Right. Um, if I put 36.5, I think I'll be able to sell pretty quickly. If I put 37, they will wait till the, the Casper goes up. Uh, but it was pretty kind of waving here be between 35 34 and 38 39 uh, 3.9 cents i mean 3.4 and 3.9 cents um for caspa as far as the pricing goes so let's um see what else yeah that's it that's about it for this video just want to quickly update you so see where we at and uh, oh yeah and of course our roi so if we add this uh, my last uh, mining was the average about another 500. So we are right now, since I've been selling some Caspa all the time, my average sale price was around uh, 3 cents. Now I've been able to sell some for 4 cents, uh, probably not higher than 4 cents and right now price is 36 so this is our so far i mine on the first miner 1307 uh 43000 caspa and i sold pretty much uh, a lot of it so i probably keep like 10 percent overall i think a little more than 10 about 20 percent of all mine caspa just for uh to keep it to hodl it right so now I still have 45 days to arrive, one and a half months. And then on my second Caspa data was discounted. So that, that was like three times less, right? Uh, that one is left only 12 days to arrive, which is great. I mean, only $248 left and probably another 8,000 Caspa at today price. So Hopefully in that 12 days we can arrive, which I doubt, because look, we are rewards is dropped to 600, around 608, probably even less right now uh, for Caspa. So overall, I mine 85,000 Caspas on four of these miners. Still 46 days on my sec two other ones from the batch two, but um, take a look if you buy those Caspa are discounted. Some of them KS1, now lower, KS3, uh, you can buy a lot less. So you could really ROI on today rates and today rewards and today Casper price kind of quicker even. However, as soon as you get these two uh, miners released, that will be a huge hash rate increase. And obviously this number going to drop and we're probably going to see this number go to almost like 60 90 right pretty quickly that means we'll be in around 60 here pretty soon uh well before we get there probably 120 let's see or uh 200 yeah i think that's that's gonna go really quick and then our re our our roi here on our ks zero gonna increase by a lot too so anyways, that's where we are. Uh, hope you uh, like my update. I'm gonna be switching from Wooly Pooly, of course. I don't wanna stay there. So we'll be going to my, um, back to the hump pool on those two miners, I think. And I'm gonna try to stay four days there on hump pool. Um, I didn't want to go to two miners. I didn't have any luck there either. So well, my best pool right now is hump pool. I'm going to stick with that probably for a little while. And I'll keep you posted if anything changes. I'm mining with my... Um, I want to post another video. How is 37 days? I have 12, 37 in mining Casper. And consuming about almost a thousand watts. Almost one kilowatt is 900 on the octa miner 12x and i'm mining and i'm doing only six giga hash this is like a 20 uh what is it 100 giga hash uh divide by six that's like uh 16 times less hash rate <laughs> with 10 times not even 10 probably um uh, 
950 watts divided by uh, we are around 68 watts it's a 13 time 14 times less energy that's insane that the, the kso just kills the uh, gpu mining at all it's like if you compare it it just blows your mind how uh how beautiful is ks0 right now doing on the, on the power consumption versus the uh your uh, 30 70s you need to have about 170 cards in order to um just for one miner i believe so that's crazy anyways see you on the next one thanks for watching bye